second technique or set of techniques uh, for the advanced syllabus this week um, is going to be from the same position as before. I'm attempting a triangle and my opponent is defending by hiding their arm. But now rather than attacking the arm, we're going to focus on doing unpleasant things to their neck and to a small extent their shoulder. So this is two, two separate techniques. Um, it looks like the same way. I know, right? Uh, so we start here and this comes out the side. So the, the initial, the basic horrible, horrible version, uh, you don't need to lock your legs up the other way. You can lock them this way if you want, it's not necessary for this. Uh, so we're going to start with um, what I will delicately call the throat punch. Uh, basically what we're going to do here is I am going to take this lapel of my hand, I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to bring it into my hand here. Okay? Because what's happening right now is she is taking away my ability to choke this side of her neck. Because normally with a full normal triangle, if we go back, again, this chokes this side of the neck and her own shoulder chokes the other. By opening the whole thing out, that becomes almost impossible. I can push, but it goes up to like above the jawline or the ear. It's very hard to get in here. So we're going to skip this whole step and just attack it directly. So um, we're going to open this lapel out. There's, there's a nogi version, which is less pleasant, but the idea is the same. I open the lapel out, get the hair out of the way, and I make a fist grip here. You can do it the other way around, but I find this stronger with the knuckles down. And now I'm basically going to keep my right knee tight here, and I'm going to drive my left, knee, left fist into the throat. <coughs> Okay? Yeah. So, now, um, give me a second now. <coughs> that is quite strong. Okay. Now, it probably won't tap the person despite the reaction there, um, because usually they will bail very hard from the position uh, because it's deeply, deeply unpleasant. They will push, they will rotate, they'll do something different. Uh, usually they will use, I'm not crazy with it, they will use this hand here to start trying to defend it, and then we have to pull across, and then we can work everything else as normal. But it is definitely a very good way to get a reaction. Now it doesn't really work properly if you go back to normal triangle again. It doesn't really work from here because you can't really get in there. I mean, you can't just drive your fist into their, you know, cheekbone. It's not. I mean, I guess you can, but it's not really going to do too much to choke them. Okay, the arm's doing the work there. But this way around, because of this opening here, if you need to, you can peel the head away to one side. Take this and drive it here. Keep your other side close. Don't just push away because your hips will rotate and you won't keep that sandwiching pressure in. But I want to keep my right knee pulled towards me as my left fist drives into their throat. I'm not going to do it again, it's not very nice. So, uh, that's part one, uh, and again, it's usually just done, you can show people with it, but usually you won't, uh, again, it's just to make them take this arm out. They're hiding it here because they don't want to attack it, I want to give them something else to worry about, punching them in the throat will usually do that. No gi, you can just use the fist, uh, the pose is slightly better, A, because it looks like you're being more technical than you are, but you're not, uh, and B, it, it anchors the choke a little bit better. Just the fist is a little bit mobile, this just goes in a bit better. That's part one, that is the, uh, the we, call it, we call it a thrust choke, which is a nice way of saying fist in throat. Uh, next up is what's called the TP, um, which is probably inappropriate these days, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to start um, in the same position. We're going to do the same as the last thing, we're going to take our leg across and do this here. The reason we're going to do this here now isn't to get access to this arm, it's to get this uh, shoulder secured to the head and make sure she is roughly in between my leg and I'm at this good side on angle here. Then I'm going to oh, set aside on quarter angle. And then my arms are both going to go behind my knees in a big hug, and I'm basically going to go to crossing my feet, and I'm going to go to here. Okay? I don't want to turn too much here. I want her effectively directly in front of me, and then I'm going to stretch my push my feet away and squeeze my knees together like this. Like again, if you're not used to being choked, you can just tap someone like this. It is unpleasant as hell. But what we're looking to do here is to have our hands behind to prevent her from going in. So my hands will take around the back of my legs here, here, and then I'm going to extend away here. That is going to be a lot of different things happening at the same time. It is. It depends a little bit on the size of you compared to your opponent. Uh, it's a bit of a shoulder lock, shoulder crank. This crushes in here a little bit. No one really likes that. It's um, it, it's a lot of pressure on the neck because again, it's getting sandwiched in between my thighs. And if usually if the person's a little bit bigger than you, which I think is where it's most effective, you end up with your knees actually connecting here and here. That way you get bone and the squeeze there. If you're if they're a little bit closer than you, so you're a similar size or smaller, you just have your thighs and that's strong but not super, super great. I quite like that. Again, make the transition here. That kind of puts you roughly in between the, and you can use the knees a bit more effectively. The deeper they are into it, then you're just using like your, your thigh master muscles which aren't so strong. So we're looking to sort of pike our legs here. There. So both knees come together, my hands go behind, usually I'm going to go to an S grip here because again you can't, um, most people's arms aren't long enough 
to lock it any other way. If you have longer arms, this is acceptable. If you have the longest arms in the world, I guess this is acceptable. But most people are gonna have to do this S grip, finger to finger. That's how you reach around things that are larger than you, generally. So if the hands go around, knees go in, S grip behind, I pull my elbows down and hold, here, and then I extend away. Well, that is um, the TP, presumably because of this old school you know, positioning, um, which is a triangle variation. Um, which is deeply unpleasant, but very effective against people who are largely 